Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley. If you are new and if you are new, go ahead and stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become, can become acquainted and we can do this on the regular. So I think last month when I posted my March favorites video, I mentioned that favorites videos are some of my absolute favorite <laughs> videos on YouTube. So because of that, I wanted to implement that into my channel. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. I just have a few items that I wanted to share with you that I kind of have been obsessing over for the month of April. And I don't have very many items. I think I have maybe five to seven. So this video won't be long at all. But I do have some things that I am compelled to share with you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with the Storm Candle by Sensationals. It's a coconut blend wax candle. I picked this up from Marsh from TJ Maxx initially, but it had a Marshalls tag on it. And then um, once I went to back to TJ Maxx, they had no more. So I kind of started to go to different Marshalls and TJ Maxx's in the surrounding area. And I was able to find a couple of more small ones. Um, I couldn't find any more big ones, but I was definitely able to pick up a few more small ones. So I was very excited. This candle almost smells identical to the Capri, the blue Capri volcano candle, which is famous for being the signature scent of the anthropology store. But if you know anything about anthropology and their um, shenanigans from last year, we're not, I don't shop there anymore personally. Um, so this is a fantastic dupe and honestly, this one smells even better in my opinion. Um, it's very much so a tropical kind of citrus smell. So it's very um, perfect for this season for spring, summer. So you guys, and uh, for this big one, I paid $12.99. For the smaller one, I pay $6.99 and I have not much wax left here or here. So I kind of have been kind of stretching them out, but I have one more brand new um, small one. So I'm happy about that. But I do, um, I couldn't find any more of the black and white packaging in stores. Black and white is my preference because that's my aesthetic, but they do have this candle available by Sensational in different packs and different colors like a, a kind of like a blue country um a chic aesthetic packaging so this candle smells so good i don't really care if it comes in a brown paper sack i will be purchasing it again so again this is called the storm candle by sensational if you see it i promise if you buy it you will not regret it um highly 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 recommend it and y'all i'm kind of losing my voice so thanks in advance for bearing with me um secondly I am going to share something else that I shared in a vlog ago, um, and that is the Mariel Badescu. This is the cucumber and green tea with, well, the aloe with cucumber and green tea spray. I know I'm super late to the party. Initially, when I um, tried the Mariel Badescu facial sprays, I got the rose one. Rose does not agree with my skin whatsoever. I don't know if I'm allergic, but uh, because of that, I was kind of uh, straight. I, I kind of strayed away from the Mario Badescu product line. But once I discovered this one, I'm obsessed. I literally use this probably four or five times a day. I keep it in the refrigerator, so when I spray it on my face, like after the gym or um, before the gym, it's like a, it gives you like a uh, you know like a cold sensation, <laughs> a cold and refreshing sensation. So again, this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. This is the big bottle, and as you can see, I just bought it like maybe the beginning of April. I'm um, more than halfway through the product, so I will definitely be picking this up. Again, I actually plan to repurchase this until I, I, can, I plan to make this a staple in my skincare regimen, let's just say that. So yeah, again, highly recommend it. Mario Badescu's Cucumber Facial Spray. Works like a charm, very refreshing. I love it so much. Um, another kind of like a beauty or cosmetic or or kind of item like that would be the Dove Hand Sanitizer. I spoke about this in a couple of vlogs ago as well. I'm sure you guys have heard about this before. This is my absolute favorite, most amazing hand sanitizer. Um, I can't even believe that I'm raving about a hand sanitizer because they're typically so basic, but not this one. First of all, it comes in a fragrance, which is for this one, I have the warm shea butter and no, the shea butter and warm vanilla one. 
which it smells amazing. If you're familiar with the Dove fragrances, I'm sure you've smelled this scent before. Also, it's 99.99% effective against killing germs, so that's important. Not only does it smell good and sanitize, but it's almost 100% effective. In addition to that, it has a moisturizing component. So it's almost like a sanitizer lotion hybrid. So if you have a little ash, you know, a sanitizer typically makes you kind of ashy, a little dry, and a little dry, excuse me, again, my voice is cracking. Not this one. This sanitizer does not make your hands dry, ashy, or cracky. It literally sanitizes your hands and it also moisturizes. So it's like a two-fold win. Like it's, I'm obsessed. Not only do I love this, excuse me, but I also got it for like on coupon or on major discount from a major discount if my voice will project from Walgreens. So I actually picked up two of these and this is a eight ounce bottle for like a dollar thirty. So you couldn't beat that. But even if they were five dollars a bottle, I will always purchase this because again, there is no sanitizer that is gonna that is able to compete with this. So highly recommended the Dove hand sanitizer. It's a must have, an absolute must have. Kind of sticking in the family of cosmetics, and body care. Um, another highly recommended item is, of course, every it's spring, summer. We trying to get our skin right. We're going to have a little bit more skin showing, getting your body right. So you have to exfoliate, right? That's correct. Now, for me, one of my favorite exfoliators is this coconut butter formula body scrub by Palmer's absolute love absolutely love it i love palmer's anyway like i'm a literal i lather my entire body in palmer's cocoa butter i'm a huge palmer's cocoa butter fan so they really can't do any wrong and to be honest with you but this is a soft body exfoliator that just works like a charm and leaves you looking really um really soft very exfoliated very like shiny and buffed out but it also has that very nice um kind of vanilla coconut butter scent so that just kind of adds to it i love it i use it every set i use it every skincare sunday to kind of exfoliate my body and then i use a different scrub on like my feet and on my elbows and things like that but y'all as you can see this is like my second bottle my second jar in probably a year so i and i'm up for another one so as you can see i really really love it so if you, and I'll try to link all these products down below, but yeah, highly recommended the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Scrub, y'all. It works like a charm. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we get into? From a fashion standpoint, like I said, you guys, I don't have very many products. I'm not gonna just try to come up with some stuff just to kind of fill the video up. That's not really my style. So um, what, I, what I'm showing you is stuff that I really use like on a daily basis and stuff that I really love. So from a fashion standpoint, two fashion items that I have been loving every, almost every single day for the month of March to start with is my Louis Vuitton reversible card holder. This is a, it was a must have for me because I just absolutely love the reverse monogram. But I have literally been using this on a daily basis the entire month of April. And I have maybe four or five card holders, so that's saying a lot. This is like an absolute favorite. It keeps its shape. It is, um, you can probably fit about one, two, three. And on the inside, you can fit about maybe six cards comfortably without a lot of budging. And I mean, it's so chic and it's just so fashionable. Who doesn't love like reverse monogram? And then if you get tired of the other side, you just flip it over and you'll have your traditional monogram. So it's like a two for one. I waited on this item for so long. I'm just checking my time because I'll have to clock out of my computer here shortly. I waited on this for a couple of months, but now I think you can go straight to the website and order it with no problem. So highly recommended the Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card holder. So another fashion item that I have that I loved over the month of April and that I continue to love right now in the month of May, of course, is my toiletry pouch, my limited edition world tour. I think it came out in 2016 or 2017. Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26. 
The reason why it's a favorite right now for me is because I converted it, of course you guys already know, I converted it to a crossbody with the bag insert and also the chain. So those two items have allowed me to rediscover my love for the toiletry pouch 26 because now I can wear it as a crossbody. So this along with my, of course, the reversible car case have been kind of like my two besties from a fashion standpoint over the month of April and continue to be right now. So these are definitely favorites um, for April and probably for May as well and probably throughout the remainder of the um, of the fall of the spring summer. Girl, I'm waiting for fall runner already. But yeah, so those items, love, 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 love um for the month of april and i actually am still carrying those today um my last fashion item that i'm going to show you and actually my second to last item is these are these celine shades so these are the celine and they are so dirty i shouldn't even be showing them to y'all <laughs> these are the celine i don't remember the exact name of these but i will try to find them and link them down below they are old, I've had them for quite some time, but I'm sure you probably can find them somewhere. These are the ones that come in the pink tint. And I also have them with the brown tint. Don't love them as much, but these are a vibe, y'all. Let me just show you. You know, they are extremely dirty, but they're just a vibe. Like they're just giving me summer, spring vibes. Like I would like to be a Cartier frame, but I'm not quite a Cartier frame. Um, or should we go to Miami this weekend and chill out on the beach or uh, shop at Bell Harbor or at Ball Harbor? Those are the vibes these glasses give me. Even though they're crooked, um, they have had better, they've seen better days, but they are just hot. So I have been killing these over the month of April and I will continue to kill them throughout the remainder of the spring summer. You guys, shop your closet. Shop your closet. You got good taste. You're a fashion girl. You got some archives. Go into them, pull them out. You don't always have to get new stuff. Mix the old with the new and, and just trust yourself. Your fashion gut has always been right. <laughs> and the last item that I wanna show you is just a random food item. Um, as you guys know, I just went to Indiana for, um, unfortunately, for some funeral services. But while I was traveling, because my brother and I actually drove, which I never do, but it was a whole experience and it wasn't as bad as I thought. But anyway, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. But when I stopped at a gas station in Kentucky, I discovered an amazing snack that I am now obsessed with. And I am going through, I am exhausting all measure to get these back and is the Grippo Sour Cream and Onion Potato Chip. If you're from Ohio, if you are possibly from, maybe not Detroit, but if you're from Ohio or Kentucky, you already know what time it is with Grippos. I was only familiar growing up from Indiana with the barbecue Grippos, which are kind of spicy, but still delicious nonetheless. But y'all, I did not know that Grippo made a sour cream and onion potato chip. I literally picked one up from a gas station in Kentucky driving to Indiana, what, was obsessed with it, and then when I came back driving to Atlanta from Indiana, stopped in Kentucky again, totally different gas station, of course, and I picked them up again. I'm pissed that I didn't get like 10 bags because these chips, undescribable flavor, undescribable flavor. like. First of all, I love a sour cream. First of all, I love a potato chip. Second of all, I love a sour cream and onion potato chip. But th these are like a whole nother level of flavor. Like, I can't even describe. If you're familiar with Grippo, you probably already know what I'm talking about. But unimaginable, undescribable flavor. Obsessed. Um, one of my friends is from um, Lexington, Kentucky, and she's having a barbecue a barbecue down here in Atlanta on Memorial Day. So I already asked her, hey, whichever family member you have coming from Kentucky, please, whatever I need to do to get them to bring me back some Grippos, let me know because I'm down because it's that serious. Again, if you live in Ohio or Kentucky, or if you can somehow get your hands on these chips, get them and just thank me later. Just do that, just thank me later. It's that serious, y'all. <laughs> I love them. I, already, I just got this bag on Tuesday and they already gone. So that just goes to show how much I love them. But yeah, that um, concludes my April favorites. Thank you so much for watching. 
and um thank you for subscribing to my channel if you do thank you for your support we are trying to grow over here at um, on my channel so um, more content to come thanks again for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video